I bought this uh, 12 inch compound slide saw a couple years back. It's a Milwaukee brand. Uh, has good capacity, decent power. Uh, mainly, I'm pretty happy with it. There are a couple little issues, like for example, underneath here, you can see the lights have uh, filled up with sawdust and they really just don't work anymore. Uh, but the biggest issue that I have with this saw is actually around back. So around back here, they have this dust collection system. It's a little uh, bag and you can see it's already wearing through. And that's part of my issue is that when this starts to fill up and it does work fairly well, um, it swings around and it gets hung up on things. And often if you're changing your angle and you're on a really confined, in a really confined area, this will get hung up on something and tear right off, for example. And of course the regular issues with emptying these things and you're creating a lot of dust uh, that you're breathing in potentially. So a better option is just to, to have a vacuum port, a vacuum adapter uh, that goes right on here. And, and actually Milwaukee sells one. It's like 24, $25 and then shipping on top of that. And I'm assuming it's a rubberized material like this one. Uh, but I have a better idea. It's something that costs a lot less for me. Uh, that's just to make an adapter that fits on here that will adapt this to a regular vacuum uh, shop vac hose or a small shop vac hose. So whenever I'm modifying a machine, I try and make it so that I'm not permanently uh, adjusting the machine itself uh, or any of its components. So uh, I don't really want to cut anything out here. I don't really want to attach anything on. Uh, but what I do want to do is, because this is a flexible material, I'm going to use that to my advantage and I'm going to actually uh, insert a piece inside of there. So that was one of the design considerations. Obviously with dust collection you want to make sure that you have um, a fairly clean flow through. You don't want anything uh, changing direction quickly. Uh, you don't want a lot of ridges, for example, to hold up material and that type of thing. Um, so what I've designed here using, using uh, Fusion 360 is an adapter that fits right up inside, like so. It's a very snug fit, uh, and that will not come out just on its own. So uh, that's a, a perfect connection. You can remove it if you ever wanted to, or replace it, for example, uh, very simply. So another uh, feature, like I mentioned earlier, is that I have the external here, which adapts to a large hose size. Now that external is actually tapered so that as it goes on further, it will get more and more snug again so that it will not fall off on its own. And the internal as well, if you have a small shop back. So what I've done to create this Infusion 360 is use the loft command, draw the circle, uh, and draw this kind of rectangular shape here, uh, and then specify a path that it should follow in between, and that's uh, the shape that you get. Of course, you want to refine that to make it fairly smooth and uh, a couple adjustments here and there. Like most well-designed products, you want to include some tapers. So there's an interior taper to direct the sawdust uh, inward. And there's tapers uh, both on the inside and outside here as well. So overall, for me, this would have cost around uh, $5, 3 to $5 to print. Of course, it took me a lot longer to design this. So, But that's uh, something that I like to do in my spare time. And uh, that... Uh, this item will be available on Thingiverse if anybody's interested in printing their own. Uh, I used pretty much 100% infill on this just because I wanted it to last and it is made from ABS, not PLA, so that it is somewhat flexible. And you can see that here. That's just in case you were to drop the saw or something like that, um, that it wouldn't necessarily shatter into a million pieces. Mounting is as simple as connecting this piece back on. And I've made this directional uh, because for me, I prefer for the hose to go to one side or the other. It doesn't necessarily need to be, and it doesn't need to be printed that way either. So let me show you how it works. But before we do that, make sure that you hit the like button, subscribe and comment if you happen to like this design. So the last great feature of this design is that you can take this hose right off and mount the bag 
directly back on. Back to the original, and that'll work fairly well if you're on site, for example, and you need to catch them just that way. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.